Hello guys and welcome back to another bucket plugin tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the event API. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make a class that implements listener. I'm going to go ahead and do this in my main class because I'm only using this plugin to show you guys how to do this. So uh, this class is going to implement listener from org.bucket.event. If I can spell listener right, and that wasn't even the right one. Look at me go already. All right. So inside of this class, we can go ahead and register an event handler. So how we do that is put at event handler right above our event handler. So the plugin knows this is our event handler, and then all event handlers are void methods. They don't return anything. And the event we're going to be working with today is going to be the player join and player quit event. Um, we're going to customize the message that shows up. So the first thing we want to do is make the actual method that catch it, that runs whenever the event is called. So we're going to name this method for the onJoin one as uh, onJoin. So inside of this event, we're going or for this event, we're going to listen for the player join event. So player join event, and we can just call this event event. <coughs> so from this specific event you can get the player and the join message which are the two things you want to modify now um, whenever you are modifying the join message you can do it like this you can do event.set join message and say player has joined just just you know as an example you can say player has joined the server but the problem with this is it doesn't do all the nice formatting we might want to add. Let's say we want to add some cool colors or yeah that's about it just some cool colors. <laughs> uh, we can't do that like this so what we need to do is actually set the join message to null so nothing shows up. If you, if you set it to just a space it'll actually send a blank line to everybody so you want to actually make sure the message is set to null and after that we want to actually get the player from the event so we can put the player's name inside of the event so we're going to make a string name name and we're going to get the name of the player from this that fired the event so we're going to get this from the event we're going to do event dot get player and then we're going to do dot get name and this is going to return the player's name if you want to include any nicknames the player has or their ranks you want to use the method get display name and this will return the display name of the player, but we just want to get their username, so we're going to use get name. Now, we also want to detect if the player has joined before, and so we can send them a really cool message if they haven't joined before. Or not them, but send a message to the whole server. So, first we're going to define our message. Then after this, we're going to have two cases. The first case, the player has joined before. And the second case, the player hasn't joined before. So we're going to first detect if... All right, let's go ahead and make a player object here. I'm going to do player, player equals event dot get player. There we go. And we can actually, if this will let me import it, all right. We can actually use this right here instead of using event.getPlayer twice. We can use that object right there. And then we're going to do if player dot has played before. So if the player has joined a server before, we just want to give them a normal message. So we're going to do chat color dot translate alternate color codes. And we're going to translate anything that starts with the ampersand because that's the default color code character and that's not what I wanted to do alright so inside here we're going to put a placeholder for the players name and do percent p just to make it standard you know and we're going to say has joined for the first time or no this is the if the player has not joined before so if the player has never played before then we want to say they have joined for the first time and then otherwise, we want to set the message to say they just joined the server just as normal. So this is how we do that. Same thing, basically, except we want to make sure that it does not say join for the first time, just has joined. Alright, so after this, we want to actually 
get all the players on the server and then send all of them this message because messages are client side so there's no way to send it to the server and broadcast it to everybody this is the way you have to do it send it to every single individual player so this is how we do that so we want to make a for loop and we want to loop through all of the players that are online so we're going to do player target because it's going to be a target player and then we're going to get the players from bucket dot get server dot get online players all right so it's going to loop through all the online players and for every single player we want to send them our message and there we go it's that simple you've made your own custom join event just like that and we're going to co go ahead and copy this and do the basically the same thing for the leave event or for the quit event my bad there we go player quit event and we can set the quit message to null and we can go ahead and get rid of this extra stuff that we don't need All right, we can go ahead and change this to quit. So we need to pass an instance of the class that implements listener to the server. And this is how we do that. First, we want to get the server, and then we want to get the plugin manager. Then we want to register, use the method register events, plural, because the other ones will not work. Okay, so there's two arguments that go inside here. The first one is the instance of the listener. And the second one is the instance of your class that extends Java plugin. Now, since I'm inside the, since this class contains both of those, I can just put this for both of them. But let's say you had this event handler inside of another class, you would put right here your, uh, you would put, uh, you would pass through an instance of that class. But you could leave this as this if you're doing it on your on enable one more thing I almost forgot we actually want to replace the placeholder percent P with the player's name so to do this is actually very simple we want to put use the method replace all and we want to replace all of our placeholder with the player's name which we have a variable of right here so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that do the same thing right here and then we're gonna do it one more time right down here and I will see you guys in the game as you guys can see I got the message that said I have joined for the first time and if I go ahead and disconnect from the server and reconnect you can see that I get the message that says I have just joined normally not for the first time and there it is guys if you if this episode was helpful for you guys let me know down in the comments if you have any issues let me know I'm always down to help you guys um, if you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Nice! The Mutt's Nuts, in fact.